You have clicked onto this video probably with a lot of questions, and I'm going to answer all of those right after I do these 10 different tricks that I wrote down in my phone. Just kidding. <laughs> if you're feeling a little confused, that's okay. Honestly, I am a little confused myself. But basically what happened is I got invited to this big skateboarding competition. Pretty much runs the same as any other big skate competition, but this is a little different because you do your tricks in real life, then you do them in Skater XL, the video game. I'm gonna be on the Australian team with four other riders and it is in Russia, three weeks from now. So the extent of my Russian knowledge pretty much comes from playing Tony Hawk's Underground and watching Rocky IV, the greatest movie of all time. So let's jump onto the computer right now and learn a little bit more about it. Okay, so it is gonna be here in Kazan. It's kinda to the east of Moscow. Quite a ways, I think. Okay, 11 hour drive. And then we are pretty far from the border of Ukraine as well. 20 hours. 16 hours. So hopefully everything is all good. But yeah, let's have a little bit of a look what Kazan is saying. Dang, 1 million views. Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about Kazan. Kazan That's is cool. the capital and the largest city in the Republic of Tatarstan, Russia. Very With a population beautiful. Population of 1.2 million. It is the sixth most populous city in Russia. Kazan is a city on water. It lies at the confluence of the Volga and Kazanka rivers in the European part of Russia. When I go there, it's going to be winter, winter. They were telling me that it might be minus 10 to 15 Celsius. That is like 5 to 10 Fahrenheit. So it is going to be so cold. I definitely might have to leave the shorts at home. I'm going to have to buy like a whole bunch of new clothes, honestly. In the recent years, the city has gone through a lot of renovation. It is not often that you stumble upon rundown houses. Nice. At the times of the USSR, Kazan Dude, was KFC? notorious for its crime. But today, it's one of the top five safest and most comfortable cities of Russia. Okay, Although that's good. I mean, honestly, right now it's looking better than Russia. SF. Okay, so this is what it's called. Games of the Future 2024. Ooh, 20 days to go. Games of the Future is a large-scale event that exists in the junction of sports, science, and technology. It represents synergy of classical, digital sport disciplines the international tournament runs 21 innovative disciplines yeah so that's the thing is skating is one sport out of 21 different sports 16 in the main five in the extended each of these realizes concept of digital physical digital a union of physical culture and cyber sport vr ar technologies this means that digital Athletes are expected to excel in two dimensions and had little in common before. That is Rick, a digital athlete. 10 days, 21 disciplines, 2,000 participants, and what is this? 25 MLN prize money. Okay, digital games. Football, racing, speed run, racing, skateboarding. Can I click it? Yo! About the game, digital skateboarding is tested by athletes and computer game at the skate park during digital qualification. Two athletes from each team do a 45 second heat and then two athletes do best trick. It's very much like a normal comp, it has heats then best trick, it's just you have to do them both. And I believe that the way that it works is you do the real run first, then if you bail the tricks in the game, you like get halved points. And if you mostly land them, you get, you know, 75% points. And then if you land them all, you get like 1.5 points or double points. Photo gallery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chicago Bulls. And at the computer, sick. When I was applying for the visa, like even this visa site is like saying, games of future, international competition, new format held in Kazan, March, 2024. And then this is the official website. It's been like a little bit laggy for me, but we can see some of the events. Dota 2, Laser Tag, Warface, and Laser Tag CS2 plus Laser Tag. So you play like the shooting games and then you play Laser Tag. Like that's actually so lit. They also have this YouTube channel so we can watch some of the vids too. Oh my goodness. Neon Esports. Okay, what game is this? Dota 2? I actually don't know. And then what are they gonna... There's the homies. What are they gonna do in real life now? 
Laser tag? Yeah, boys. What is going on here? <laughs> Dude, this is going to be crazy. I'm so excited for this. What is happening? Yeah, let's play. On the phone? No. It's a phone game? Let's see the football. Oh, some skating. У нас прямо сейчас очень скоро стартует четверть финала Digital Football. So they play I guess FIFA probably. And then they play in real life. Low key, that's so sick. I hope I get to watch some of the other events. Should I try to learn some Russian? Okay, so this was actually the skate event that they did to kind of like test the format six months ago. So what I was thinking is I'll do a live stream and I'll watch this whole thing. So if you're seeing this the day that I upload, I'm probably going to do the live stream later on. But if you're watching the replay, I'm going to link it right here. Whoa, we got a pump track? What the heck? This is crazy. I wonder what park this is. Dude, it looks epic though. And we got the live commentator. Okay, I want to see some action. Okay, coming in. Oh, clean with the frontside flip. Let's go. Boom. Okay, so now see how it's a team game. Like this isn't the guy that did the trick, but this is someone else on the team. And I also love that the person that did it in real life isn't wearing a helmet and the video game is wearing a helmet. Like, what? <laughs> okay, man, no pressure, huh? Oh, what? Let's go. Too easy. But yeah, I'll watch this whole event on my stream. As for the team, we have Ben Curry, Absolute Shredder from my hometown of Melbourne, Australia. He also came to Braille one time. Then we have Nixon Osborne, another absolute crusher. Then we have Sean Butcher as well, who I haven't met before, but it seems like a ripper too. For the team manager, I have my old friend, Nicholas Tinbum Clark. Me and him go way back. In Australia, we used to go on these fun road trips and do like crazy challenges and that kind of thing. So it is a pretty solid, well-rounded team. But yeah, honestly, I'm super excited for this. I think going to Russia is such a cool opportunity and I'm like really grateful to be in a position to do this for skateboarding as well. And for such a cool event where it's like half real life, half video game. Like, I think that's so sick. I guess I got these next three weeks to try to get ready. I guess practice my skating, practice the video game. If you guys know any good Skater XL coaches, let me know who is the best Skater XL player. But yeah, I'm going to be making a bunch of content leading up to this and when I do go to Russia. So stay tuned for that. I'm very pumped and excited for the future of this. That is it. I like skate.